In this video, I want to go over the basics of creating a new drawing, setting up some geometry, putting that geometry in the layouts, and kind of setting up and getting ready to go print. I'll also talk about some of the different types of files that can be used later on. So when you first open AutoCAD, you're going to have a, an automatic one that comes up that's not going to really have anything in it. If I go look at the layers, it's going to be nothing, just a zero layer. The layouts have nothing in them. So we don't really want to use this one. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and close this and just say, no, I don't want to save changes. Then I'm going to go to New, right here, New. And I'm going to scroll down this template list to find the Mer Merced College template. So MC template, that's the one we want. I'm going to say Open. So the template has some settings set up for us. Um, that we want to use. So if I look at the layers now, I have a nice list of layers. If I go to my layouts, I have title blocks, both an A and a B size. And my model space is here. If you want your grid on, you can turn it on. If you don't, you can just leave it off. <clears throat> so now I'm just going to draw something just so we can kind of see the, the process. So I'm going to look and see that, yes, I'm on the object layer. That's the main layer we want to draw on. So I'm going to just draw a rectangle real quick. Go from here, I'm going to make it 5 by 2, just because that's a size I want to use. So now I can move it around. You can kind of see the panning and the zooming working better now. So zooming in, I point at where I want to look. And I push the wheel forward, and it zooms in. If I pull it back, it zooms out. If I press and hold the wheel, I can move it. I can kind of pan it around. It's not really moving it. If I had other things here, they would all kind of move on the screen the same way. So now I can go to the layout, and it doesn't show up. That's because my viewport is probably looking somewhere else. So I'm just going to activate my viewport, either by clicking on where it says paper here, or by double clicking. Now if I double click the wheel, and I have to be careful not to actually roll it at all, I have to just double click real quick. Now it zooms in and I can see my object there. So now I can kind of zoom and see how it works. If I look down here at my scale, the, the viewport scale, I can kind of see where that is. I can kind of see what I want to do. So double scale is going to be kind of too big. Full scale might be a little too small, might be okay. So I'm going to check it. I'm going to go down and pick one to one. And if that's a scale I like, I can keep it. I can go and look at two to one. That's really too big. Let's say I want one that's kind of halfway between those two. I want something that's between one to one and two to one. So I'm going to go to custom. And I'm going to go to add. So the, I'm going to do one here that's halfway between, so it's one and a half, or it's one to one and a half. Um, so I can either do that, I can either type one and a half to one, and then one and a half to one, or kind of the more usual way is to use just whole numbers in a ratio. So I'm going to do a three to two. So three paper space, so three real units to two drawing units. Say OK and OK. And now I'm just going to pick that off the list. So now that's one and a half times the size. So that ratio is one and a half. <clears throat> and then I'm going to kind of pan it to where I want it to be. Again, being careful not to roll the wheel at all. And then I'm going to lock the viewport. Because now I can zoom if I want to. And it's not going to mess up that scale for me. So once I get that done, I'll go back out to paper space. I'm going to zoom in on the title block. So this has kind of some general tolerance notes, has the school name, and then it has spaces to put your your name and the scale and a title and the drawing number. And you can see as I go over drawing by, it kind of highlights a few other things also. If I double click on this going to open it up an editing box and these are called attributes it's a way of storing data in a fixed place 
Um, and we'll talk more about those later on and we'll actually create some, but a big use of them is in title blocks like this. So for the value, I'm gonna go ahead and put my name. You notice that it's all caps. We always wanna use capital letters. <clears throat> we go down to the drawing scale and change that to what I had done. So I'm gonna make three to two. The drawing title is a verbal title for what it is. So this is gonna be um, rectangle. Rectangle. And the drawing number is gonna be what, what assignment it was. So exercise this, practice this, lab this. Um, because this was just a demo, I'm gonna call it demo one. I'm gonna say okay. You can see it filled all that into the right spots. I can go out and I can print. So we're gonna be doing everything electronically or keeping it on the screen. So if I was gonna use the actual printer, I'd select a printer here, but right now I'm just gonna use drawing to PDF. And I always wanna hit preview first. Now I can zoom in and look at things to make sure that it's really what I want. You can see I have the different thicknesses for my lines here. This line is thicker too. It's not as quite as thick as this, but it's thicker than that. So this is kind of how I want to do it. And then I can go ahead and either right click exit or hit escape and come back here and say, okay, I want to print. I'm just going to hit cancel. And so I've got it done. You can see up at the top here, it kind of gave me a name. This, it called it drawing two because when it first opened, it had drawing one. Now it's drawing two. But I want to save it for myself. So I'm going to go ahead and press save. Now it's asking me where do I want to save it. I'm just going to I'll put it here in um, my documents. And I'm going to call it rectangle. Or I'll call it demo one. Just so that I keep that uh, the same so I know which file that is. And I'm going to hit save. And you can see that saved it over to it. So if I open a Windows Explorer and I go to my documents, there's my demo one folder or different demo one file. So that's the basics of uh, creating a new drawing and saving it. There are also a couple other ways to save files. So if I go to the A and go to save as, you can see I can save back to previous versions of AutoCAD. So I can go to 789, 456, 2000, 2001, 2003. I can also go to a DXF file. And so DXF files are files you can take to another program. So if you're going to go to the CNC um, or to someone else that has another program like Illustrator that can still read vector files, you'll use a DXF file for that. If I go to the A and go to export, these are some more options. I can do it do a DWF um, and DWFX, and these are ones that create files people can actually measure from, and they can do a lot of things they can in AutoCAD. They can turn on and off layers, um, but they don't have to have AutoCAD. It uses a free viewer uh, called Design Review to look at that. A 3D DWF for 3D files. You can also make PDFs. Um, kind of the same way as we did with the print. Um, and this they can do control layers also. And those are the main file formats that we use um, other than just the, D, the DWG file.